drive-through tacos, spaghetti and a whole lot of creativity, a group of seven in achievable dream students will attempt to teach others about bullying, self-acceptance and love on an international stage on Saturday. They'll be one of seven Peninsula area teams participating in the World Odyssey of the Mind competition, held this year at Iowa State University. Odyssey of the Mind an international activity that challenges teams of students to solve open-ended problems in creative ways. Performances first were judged at regional competitions, and then at the statewide level April 14. The seven teams from the area are An Achievable Dream Academy in Woodside and Warwick High Schools in Newport News, Queens Lake Middle and Bruton High School of York County School Division, Gloucester County's Botetourt Elementary School, and Kokosin High School. It's the first time that a team from Achievable Dream has made it to this stage, where students will get to meet others from across the country and trade and collect lapel pins. The team and coaches, gifted resource teacher Ainge Moore and second grade teacher Charlotte Bordino, were celebrated Monday afternoon at the school. Snacks, cake and a video tribute sent them off before early morning flights out of Richmond on Tuesday. The team will compete Saturday and return early Monday morning. Their performance includes a taco-headed person and someone made of spaghetti, characters in a foreign world that will explain that differences are things to be celebrated and not ashamed. The other half of the competition will involve spontaneous problems, ones that must be creatively solved on the fly and not prepped for months. They turned their problem into something that was funny yet serious, said Moore. When we first started, it wasn't humorous because it was so serious. They had to really think about how to turn such a serious situation into something funny, but the point definitely gets across. Caption Hampton University student Adea Sturkey will be leaving to study in China as a 2019 Schwarzman Scholar after graduation on Sunday, May 13, 2018. Her goal is to be a physician administrator. Hampton University student Adea Sturkey will be leaving to study in China as a 2019 Schwarzman Scholar after graduation on Sunday, May 13, 2018. Her goal is to be a physician administrator, caption Christopher Newport University student Rachel Whiteman is set to graduate with a degree in chemistry, Christopher Newport University student Rachel Whiteman is set to graduate with a degree in chemistry, caption high school students at the New Horizon School Technical School signed with employers for after they graduate in its signing day, style ceremony, high school students at the New Horizon School Technical School signed with employers for after they graduate in a Signing Day, Style Ceremony, Caption Governor Northam was at Kikout and Hyde to sign into law Senate Bill 775 dealing with military children and access to public schools when their parents are transferred. Governor Northam was at Kikout and Hyde to sign into law Senate Bill 775 dealing with military children and access to public schools when their parents are transferred. Caption The Soundscapes program in Newport News exposes kids to music whom otherwise may not have an opportunity to play. A group of students from Carver Elementary School will perform at the Kennedy Center on April 16. The Soundscapes program in Newport News exposes kids to music whom otherwise may not have an opportunity to play. A group of students from Carver Elementary School will perform at the Kennedy Center on April 16. Four members of the team never have flown before, including 5th grader Jada Morris. She said that on an excitement scale of 1 to 10, she's at 1000 right now, although that won't fully soothe her initial nerves about flying. This is her third year on the team, and she said that each member worked together to overcome any hurdles in the past several months to get where they are now. We have to communicate, because if you don't communicate things might not end out as well as you would if you did communicate, said Jada, 10. You have to talk so then you can figure out the problem, and then solve the problem before it even happens. The group conducted a scientific study through its self-appointed fan club president, school security officer Anthony Brickhouse. 
The students determined that, to deal with that annoying ear popping on their first flight, Hubba Bubba is the best brand of bubble gum to chew. Brickhouse has been involved with Odyssey teams at the school for years, and said it's easy to cheer on each of them, they're amazing. They're wonderful kids. Brickhouse said, they come from various backgrounds, and everything like that, and they grow from it. Each idea grows from each child. The amazing thing is they're never argumentative, they're never combative. They're just like family. For more information on each team's score and winning category, visit aodyssey.org. Ammon can be reached by phone at 757-247-4951 or on Twitter at bjanehammond.